Good morning, greetings friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis, and while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. Our number, 844-236-6010. That's 844-236-6010. We welcome your phone calls on the bright side, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, the longevity business, formulations, ingredients, skin health questions, something you may have heard about or read about, 844-236-6010. We want to be your go-to information clearinghouse when it comes to nutrition and nutritional supplementation and all things health, really. 844-236-6010 is our number, of course. If you have a success story you would like to share or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the Bright Side, please head to my websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can also call the Bright Side Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470 for a one-time $25 fee. You can start a longevity business or thank you checks associated with your longevity business just by helping spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. If you have benefited or uh, any of your loved ones or friends or family members have benefited from nutritional supplementation. You want to help share and spread the word, change lives via nutrition and nutritional supplements and make money at the same time. The longevity business is for you. Please check out all the information about the longevity business at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com. You can also call the phone team at 866-735-2470. And I also want to remind you to check out our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com. If you're dealing with dark spots, hyperpigmentation, wrinkles, accelerated aging of the skin, dry skin, check out our Truth Skin Health products, including our Truth Retinol 5% Gel made with nature's most powerful active ingredient. And when I say nature's, I mean in your skin. Retinol is found in your skin. You need high doses, though. You've got to have at least five, at least two or three percent. You're not going to find that in very many products. I use five percent retinol in my Truth Retinol five percent gel. It's also made with a whole bunch of premium fat-soluble vitamin C and never any preservatives, fragrances, fillers, waxes, water, silicon, oil. <laughs> Emulsifiers, waxes, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in any of our Truth Skin Health products, and they're all up at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, welcome back to the Bright Side, friends. We are talking about the nature of vibration. We said the nature of the universe, the nature of our bodies, our tissues, our organs, our structures, our cells. It's all vibration. It's all vibratory at the very core, at the very bottom, at the very fundamental level, at the most basic level of everything. There is really no stuff. It's just vibration. And a vibration is essentially just a back and forth movement, a wave, if you will. Scientists call this an oscillation. And everything fundamentally oscillates, or you could say everything fundamentally vibrates, has a vibrational nature. In mathematical terms, it's called a frequency, which is technically vibrations per second. You can't talk about health without understanding the nature of vibration and frequency. So how is it that frequencies and vibrations, waves, 
How is it that they're initiated at the level of a cell? The cell is the most basic fundamental level of our bodies as vibration is the most basic and fundamental level of everything. So how is it that the cell, how is it that uh, uh, vibrations enter into the cell? It's largely a function of the movement of electrical energy. And this electrical energy is carried on electrically active particles. We call them electrolytes. You've heard that term a million times, I'm sure. Potassium is an electrolyte. Sodium is an electrolyte. Magnesium is an electrolyte. Calcium is an electrolyte, or at least has electrolyte properties. And these electrolytes carry electrical energy into the cell. There's a couple things to, when it comes to health, there's a couple things to keep in mind about these electrolytes. One of the most important aspects of electrolyte chemistry is these elements, and that's what they are, they're elements off the periodic table, potassium, calcium, sodium, and magnesium primarily. These elements, these electrolyte elements are watery. They're water soluble. Remember, everything in nature, everything in the body, all the chemicals in the body are either water soluble or fat soluble. Well, it turns out that the electrolytes are water soluble. That means you urinate them out which is why you have to have a steady stream of electrolytes coming into the body to maintain health. Back in the, in the old days, and by old days I mean hundreds of thousands and uh, even a million years ago, two million years ago, it's thought that the human body, the modern human body is somewhere around two million years old. Or at least that's where we began about two million years ago. There was lots of electrolytes around. Electrolytes were found in, in plants and vegetation. When we ate, when we ate, we ate electrolyte-rich foods. Today, we don't eat electrolyte-rich food, electrolyte-rich foods, because processed foods, for the most part, have had their electrical energy removed. That's why they're processed. They're actually the very raison d'etre. The reason why you have a processed food is so it will stay on the shelf for a long time. In order for that to occur, the electrolytes have to be removed, among other things. So the foods we subsist on today are very electrolyte poor. The foods we grew up with and the foods our body needs are electrolyte rich. That's because we are electrical beings. That's because our cells are electrical structures. That's because everything is about electricity. Electricity is a type of vibration. Which means you have to have a steady stream of electrolytes coming into the body, especially for the highly electrical systems like the heart and the brain. Where do you get electrolytes? Well, the best source is going to be living foods or foods that have a lot of life force to them, i.e. vegetables and fruits to a certain extent. Fruits are also electrolyte rich, although you'll get a lot of sugar with fruits, but vegetables are super electrolyte dense. Eggs are electrolyte dense. Organ meats can have lots of electrolytes in them. And of course, the best nutritional supplement, the best electrolyte nutritional supplement I know of is the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. It's basically an electrical drink. This is what makes the Beyond Tangy Tangerine such a powerful nutritional supplement. It's loaded with electrolytes. And this is why one of the first things you'll notice when you use Beyond Tangy Tangerine is to get more energy because you're drinking electrolytes, you're drinking electricity, you're drinking vibrations. These vibrations, by the way, or these electrolytes, by the way, are not the only, uh, the only facet of electrical generation into a cell. It's not just the electrolytes. It's a relationship between the electrolytes and a very interesting compound or very interesting molecule that's also found in the cell. See, as the electrical, these electrolytes are passing in and out of a cell, they're crossing a river of fat. We call that river of fat the cell membrane. And it's this interaction between the stream of electrical energy that's entering into the cells uh, via carried on the electrolytes, calcium, sodium, potassium, and magnesium, and the interaction with fats in the cell membrane that generates the electrical charge. It's a combination of the electrolytes and the fats. It's a relationship between the electrolytes and the fats that are located on the membrane. It's both. It's the electrolytes and the membrane. The membrane's made up of fats. That's why it's so important to make sure you're eating fat, especially essential fatty acids, your EFAs, which you'll get in your ultimate EFAs. Between your Beyond Tangy Tangerine and your ultimate EFAs, you've got the raw material for generating electrical charges at the level of the outside part of the cell and then carried into the inside of the cell. And this makes fats as well as electrolytes super important. Not just, by the way, essential fatty acids, but there's a couple other kinds of fats that are important. A couple other kinds of fats that the medical model rips on all the time that are super important for the outside part of the cell. We'll talk about that when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll return right after this. Okay, we 
are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lines open for you. 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, the longevity business, anything we're speaking about here today, electrolytes or saturated fats, unsaturated fats, electrical energy vibrations, or if you have a comment or success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you, you hear advertised or recommended, you can call the Bright Side Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. You can also head to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com and purchase longevity products off the website. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team for a one time $25 fee. You could start a longevity business, which I can help you build. We can do three way phone calls. I can help, uh, I can do presentations for you. If you're an entrepreneur, you're entrepreneurially minded. If you like the entrepreneurial lifestyle for a one time $25 fee, you can start a business makes money and helps spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. You can get the full scoop by calling 866-735-2470 or heading to the website to our my websites and blogs, by the way, and we got uh, news stories and posts and videos at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. All right, so we're talking about the nature of electrical energy in the body. We said, uh, I've said many times that chemistry works via electricity, which means supplementation is just as much about electricity as, as it is about chemistry. The health of a cell depends on the flow, the rhythm, the vibration, which is generated via electrical energy that flows in and out of a cell. And this electrical energy is carried on electrolytes and is a function of how these electrolytes relate to the fats that are on the outside of a cell. Those fats are said to be unsaturated as well as saturated. And also there's a very interesting fat called cholesterol that helps facilitate electrical energy into and through a cell. That makes fats very important. All fats, saturated fats, unsaturated fats, and cholesterol, which isn't exactly a fat, but it's a fatty substance. They're all critical for health. That means unsaturated fats play a very important role in health. And I know there's all kinds of, you know, stuff about vegetable oil that you're not supposed to eat vegetable oil. And certainly vegetable oil can be problematic. Nonetheless, it's a great source of unsaturated fat when it's used correctly. You don't want to heat a vegetable oil. You want to make sure a vegetable oil is fresh. You want to use your vegetable oil, not liberally as food, but carefully and strategically supplementally. You have to be careful with it. Now, some people say avoid it entirely. I'm not sure I agree with that. Another really important fat that can be very helpful, and I've been writing back and forth on, on my Facebook page about this, is coconut oil. Like all fats, you've got to be a little bit careful, although with coconut oil, less careful because it's much more stable than vegetable oils. In fact, it's pretty darn stable, actually. I've had coconut oil on my shelf in my lab for years, and it doesn't go bad. Coconut oil is ideal for cooking with, and it's super tasty as well. It's also a good source of vitamin E, and it's a great source of fat, particularly medium fats. Remember, fats come in three lengths. Most of the dietary fats we talk about are long fats. Most of the uh, unsaturated fats that you hear about in vegetable oils are long fats. They're long. That means they break easily. And something that has a lot of length to it, it's much less stable than something that's short and chunky. And that's just logic have a short, chunky piece of wood, that's going to be much more stable and harder to break than a long, thin stick of wood. And it's the same with fats. Unsaturated fats are long fats, and they're unstable. And this is, it's this instability that makes them so problematic. Now, I'm not saying you want to go crazy with them, but they do have some nutritional value if you're careful. you got to keep them in the fridge, you got to make sure they're fresh, and you don't want to heat your vegetable oil. Coconut oil don't have that problem with because coconut oil is mostly, it has more of those chunky short fats and medium fats. The medium fats in particular are extremely valuable, extremely valuable. They call them medium fat, call them medium chain fats or medium chain triglycerides. You may have heard the term. We have heard it on this program a lot, MCTs. And these things are super valuable. When I worked in, uh, as a hospital pharmacist, I worked in Peds ICU, a terrible place to be pediatric ICU and neonatal ICU, literally babies who are in intensive care, usually because of how they were born or how they were, how they were created in the womb. 
And in many, uh, I worked in a, a, a digestive center at the University of Colorado, and they had a, a center for uh, babies who had digestive problems who were born with Crohn's disease, celiac disease, with, with malformed intestines, and they couldn't absorb energy. They couldn't get energy from food. They couldn't absorb energy from food. So you know what we gave them? MCTs in the pharmacy. Well, I, I used to have to fill the uh, nurses' trays with all the different drugs for the poor little kids, and one of the things they got was just straight MCTs. MCTs because they're so powerful as a source of energy. MCTs aren't stored as fat. They're used as energy. They're fat, but they're not stored. That makes them singular, unique in the world of fats, and they're found in abundance in coconut oil, these MCTs. MCTs are also great for your skin, by the way, topically. And this is one of the reasons why coconut oil has so many benefits topically. MCTs facilitate transdermal absorption. I use them in my True Skin Health products, MCTs. Medium chain triglycerides. Medium chain fats. There's also short chain fats, by the way, in coconut oil. And the short chain fats are particularly important for the digestive system. We call them short chain fatty acids, or SCFAs, short chain fats. Short chain fats, in particular, uh, one of the best sources is butter. In fact, the word butter comes from the short chain fat known as butyric acid, which is incredibly important for the colon, incredibly important for the, uh, uh, for the digestive tract. Acetic acid, which is found in vinegar, that's another short chain fat. I have a, a gal who comes in every week or so and she cleans my house and she always uses vinegar to clean the counters. Why? Vinegar contains the short chain fat acetic acid. What make, makes short chain fats so interesting is they're not just fatty, they're also watery. They're a water soluble fat. That is super cool. Fats are usually fat soluble, water is usually water soluble, but short chain fats like acetic acid and butyric acid, by the way, are both. That makes them incredibly helpful for cleaning. That's why vinegar is used for cleaning, because it can get the dirt off of your counter, which tends to be oily, and it rinses off clean because it's watery. So there's lots more to fats than just avoiding them. There's lots more to fats than, that, than they're just bad for you. And as far as the cell membrane goes, the fats are stored in the membrane, and the interaction between the flow of electrical energy through that membrane as it interacts with the fats is what generates an electrical charge, and that makes good fats super, super, super important for the health of a cell. The membrane as well as the inside part of the cell as well. Cancer, by the way, is a membrane phenomena. Cancer starts off at the level of the cell membrane. Cancer, like all disease, is cell disease. And it's specifically a cell membrane disease, which means it's a fatty issue. And we've been talking about the heart. We've been talking about the heart now for a couple of months. That's how we started talking about this whole nature of vibration. The heart, of course, being a very functional vibratory structure. It's the most important vibratory structure in the body. Vibrates at the highest frequency or the, with the most energy, I should say, than any other system in the body, including the brain. The heart and the brain are the two most energy-dense, vibratory-dense structures in the body. And the heart is thousands of times more vibratory or electromagnetic than the brain. And this whole issue with fats and cells and electrolytes and cells plays a major major role in the health of the heart, or should I say, in the health of the heart cell, which we will continue talking about when we come back from our break. On the Bright Side, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll return right after this. Do not go away. On the bright side, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, longevity business, our Truth Skin Health formulations, a health challenge you or a loved one may be dealing with, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll get your calls here in just a sec. Got a couple uh, stories I want to read, and then we'll hit the phones, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. This is from the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. Published uh, the week of September 11th, 2017. Gut microbes may influence multiple sclerosis progression. How do you like that? Gut microbes, the bacteria that live in the gut, have an effect on how multiple sclerosis progresses. And it's not just MS, folks. This study was done from the University of California in San Francisco. They identified specific gut microbes uh, associated with multiple sclerosis. It is not just MS, people. All autoimmune diseases begin at the level of the digestive tract. This is so important to understand because autoimmunity is just completely flummoxed 
the medical model. They don't know what the heck to do about it. And the only strategies, the strategies they have is to shut down the immune system, which is stupidity of the highest degree. Who in their right mind would think it's a smart thing to shut down the body's exquisite, exquisitely controlled immune system, the defense system that's supposed to protect us? This is the major strategy of the, of the medical model. The major drug strategy of the medical model is to shut down the immune system. That's why the vast majority of the drugs have an effect on immunity. The most common drugs that we use are immune suppressing drugs or anti-inflammatory drugs. What does it say if your health challenge can be modified or, or if your symptoms can be modified by using an anti-inflammatory or an immune suppressant? It says that the immune system is hyperactive. The immune system becomes hyperactive when the body is toxic. The body becomes toxic first and foremost at the level of the digestive tract. So if you have any, uh, uh, any immune involvement in your health challenge, and obviously that's what autoimmunity is about, first focus on the gut, i.e. the intestine, and that specifically means the microbiome. How do, you how do you support the microbiome, the universe of bacteria that lives in the intestine? Well, first of all, you get on a good uh, probiotic supplement like the nightly essence. Then you make sure that you're eating enough veggies and fermented foods, fermented veggies, ideally. Veggies, fermented veggies do triple duty for supporting the microbiome. Number one, the fermentation bacteria support the health of the microbiome, but the, uh, the fiber in, in vegetables also supports the microbiome. And the nitrogen in vegetables also supports the microbiome. Bacteria love nitrogen. Bacteria feed on fiber. So make sure you're using veggies, veggie juices. Make sure you're using fermented veggies. You can pretty much get fermented vegetables canned or uh, jarred in any good health food store. And get on your nightly essence. Make sure you're using your nightly essence. Not just for you folks dealing with disease either, for everybody, but especially if you're dealing with an autoimmune health challenge. Okay, this is from the journal Nature Communications, published September 14th. Researchers uncover mechanism behind calorie restriction and lengthened lifespan. Almost a century ago, scientists discovered that cutting calorie intake could dramatically extend lifespan. Why? Because calories are work. Calories are heat. Calories require the body to utilize precious resources. And if you're eating empty calories, and most of us are because that's what processed food is, or relatively empty calories, our body is utilizing its precious nutrients in order to, to digest and assimilate the foods we're eating. It's not supposed to be that way. The nutrients are supposed to come in with the food. They're supposed to be associated with the calories. We call a food that has nutrients associated with its calories a whole food. We call a food that has its nutrients separated from its calories a processed food or a junk food. Eating whole foods allows your body to use the nutrients that are in the food so it doesn't have to use its precious bodily nutrition in order to digest and assimilate. And the net result is a longer lifespan. Eating whole foods, eating less calories extends your life and improves your health, especially if you're dealing with a digestive problem. All right, eight four four two three six sixty ten is our number. Time to hit the phones. Let's go to Darm in Minnesota. Good morning, Darm. Welcome to the bright side. Morning, Ben. What's up? How can we help you, sir? Um, uh, ben, I have been having uh, you know uh, digestive issues for a long time. Um, you know, uh, I, I, it's like you know I have irritation, discomfort in the colorectal area. Um, okay. When you have a bowel movement? movement, is it when you have a bowel movement? Or is it always? Yeah, I do. It's always, when you have a bowel always, movement, always. you feel would you feel pain? Uh, not uh, at the t well. If if it's hard, or dry, or sticky stool, uh, then That's, I do. Okay, so you got to work on that. Uh, first of all, a couple of things. First of all, I would be doing a, a fiber beverage every day if you're not already. Uh, grind up flax seeds, maybe a tablespoon or so, or uh, maybe even a little more of flax seeds. Start off slowly. Start off with that, like a couple teaspoons. Work yourself into a tablespoon or, or two of flax seeds. Grind them up in a coffee grinder. It'll turn it into mm -hmm. a powder. Put the powder into water, stir it around, and drink it. If you put a little cinnamon in there or, or maybe a little bit of uh, clove or ginger, some kind of spice that you like, it'll make it delicious. You sound like you may be Indian. So use chai spices. Uh, they're super delicious, and they go really well with flax. By the way, flax seeds are not only good because of their, uh, they're so good for the digestive tract because of the fiber, but they're also a great source of protein. So if you do a tablespoon of flax seeds, you're getting about a teaspoonful of delicious protein. 
good protein, quality protein too. So I love using flax, uh, a flax beverage for the digestive tract, not only because it's great for the, for helping you pass a bowel movement, but it's also great for, um, it's also great because it's a good source of fiber as well as good fats as well as vitamins. So you get, it's like a whole multiple, it's a whole nutritional supplement in addition to being great for the digestive system. Water is also very important for keeping your stools coming out nice and evenly or, or smoothly. So make sure you're well hydrated. Uh, of course, if you do drink a lot of water, you got to make sure that you're drinking electrolytes too, because you're going to be losing electrolytes when you urinate. So make sure that you're using the Beyond Tangy Tangerine and vegetable juices to, make, to keep those electrolytes in your system. And then thirdly, uh, probiotics. M much of the, the weight of the stool is actually bacteria that come out of the colon. So getting on a good probiotic supplement will also help you pass your stools. Now, if you still notice pain when your stools are coming out, uh, that's something you want to check. You don't want to be messing around with. Any kind of pain uh, or bleeding or discomfort when you're trying to pass a stool, uh, if it's not constipated, and if you're not constipated and hard, that is, I mean, if it's like a normal stool but you're still feeling pain, that's definitely, definitely, definitely something you don't want to fool around with. You want to, you want to have that checked out because there's all kinds of things that can go wrong with the colon. And man, you don't want anything ever to go wrong with your large or small intestine. That is just misery beyond description. So uh, try to try to uh, improve the movement of stool of uh, of, of your bowel movement or the stool through your bowels. And then if that doesn't help, I would have it checked out. Last but not least, when we're in sympathetic activation, when the body's sympathetic nervous system or stress nervous system is activated, it's going to be more difficult to pass a stool so uh, uh, to go to the bathroom. So what you want to do is practice slow, deep breathing and relax the body. You can actually focus on the intestine as you're having a bowel movement and focus on relaxing it, on opening it up, and that will help improve it. One, of the, one thing that we do when we're constantly that's really doesn't help us makes things worse is we push and we hold our breath technically they call that the val salva maneuver that's when you try to do work while you're holding your breath if you've ever been on a bench press and you're lifting up the weight and you're holding your breath while you're lifting the weight you go Ugh, like that uh, that's called the val salva maneuver and it makes you weaker not stronger in terms of bowel movements if you make that pushing sound that Ugh, kind of sound that closes off the intestine that doesn't open it up so you want to be relaxing everything when you're trying to pass a stool i hope that helps don uh, if you want to hang on we'll finish I'll up and come back for our break don't can go away uh, uh, yeah you can hold on if you like all right we'll be back right after this on the bright side don't go away Okay, we're back on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. We're talking to Darm in Minnesota. Anything else you want to add, Darm? Yeah, so um, uh, I think I've been having all of these issues for a long time. And what I really want to restore is the gut integrity. Right? Yes. I um, mean, regeneration. So help me with some of the, the, because my protein digestion is really like, I hardly eat any protein. I primarily eat cooked vegetables with grains. The, the, um, all that can be a problem. All, all, listen, Darm, all that can be a problem. Vegetables and grains can be a major problem for the digestive system. Major. So what you really want to do is you want to go, th you want to do the whole protocol where you fast for a couple of days, stop eating entirely. Uh, if you can also do a Swero V cleanse, Swero V is a longevity product. Call 866-735-2470 if you're interested or anybody out there is interested in doing a Swero V cleanse. Swero V is S-U-E-R-O, Swero V, V-I-E, Swero V. Uh, and uh, it's got probiotics in there. It's got protein in there. Uh, it's easy to digest. Do it just half a bottle of Swero V every hour for a day or two. And then when you start eating again, start eating normally like you always eat, but just eat one kind of food. Don't eat a whole bunch of different foods. So just start off with grains or with your favorite grain and watch what happens. And I guarantee you, you're going to notice that the foods you've been eating your whole life, possibly, certainly that you eat a lot of, are causing you digestive distress. And then you're going to need to start eliminating them. I can tell you pretty much grains are it's almost guaranteed that your grains are going to be a problem. You can't say 100%, but 90-something percent, the grains are going to be a problem. The vegetables can be as well. Uh, vegetables are more power uh, or more nutritionally valuable than grains, but and less problematic, but still, they contain substances called lectins. We've talked about lectins on this program a lot, L-E-C-T-I-N-S. I predict you're already starting to hear more and more about lectins. 
Uh, there's a book out now called The Plant Paradox, which talks all about lectins. If you go to our archives, we've been talking about them for years. They're, they're majorly problematic. They're f for the digestive tract as well as for the joints and for the immune system in general. Uh, they're plant defensive molecules. They're ways plants protect themselves, and they punish human beings and animals that eat those plants, especially at the level of the digestive tract. So uh, you've got to get to the bottom of the foods you're eating, and I'm sure you're going to find that the foods you love the most or that you're eating a lot of are the most problematic. So in addition to all the things I told you before, before I went to break about water and fiber and probiotics and supporting the integrity of the microbiome, you're going to also want to start eliminating problem foods. Darn, I got to motivate, but we got tons of information on the archives, and, and I really recommend that you uh, give that a listen. And also, please, please, please check out the Swero V, do a Swero V cleanse, and then start eliminating problem foods. If you want, if you want to talk to me personally, send, in, send me an email with your phone number, ben at ksco.com. Okay, Darn, I got to motivate. I got a ton of calls. I want to get to. Thank you so much for your call. Appreciate it. Let's go to Laura in Florida. What's going on? Good morning, Laura. Hi. Good morning, Laura, Mrs. Ben. Uh, my granddaughter, Serena, uh, is eight years old, and she has been battling uveitis for the past oh, no. couple of years. And you're in Florida? And, um, is she in Florida? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Okay. And, um, yeah, I had spoken to you once before uh, with Dr. Wallace, one of Dr. Wallace's programs. And um, so, to say the least, um, she unfortunately had to start uh, Humera about three months ago, uh, and they also give her mesotrexate uh, to help them. To, give a, to give a child, I'm going to just be very clear, I'll let you finish. To give a child methotrexate is so evil and so twisted. And I, don't, I, don't, I know that they're, they're trying to do well and they, they're good people, but just Google methotrexate. Just look it up. I, I mean, I can't even begin to tell you how unspeakably sinister that drug is. It's an awful drug. It's, it, it's it, on the short list. I'm talking top three or four most twisted, evil, nasty, horrible, toxic, poison drugs there is. Methotrexate. It's chemotherapy, by the way. It's used right. to treat no, cancer. Right, we know that. Okay, We've so, actually been uh, battling. Um, she was originally diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis. Well, juvenile. There, the I was about to ask you, about what else? Three years I was about ago. To, Hang on, let me just ask, say this. I was about to ask you what else she has, because she doesn't just have uveitis. At the age of eight, for her to, and by the way, for the listeners, uveitis or uvi, uh, uveitis is an uh, inflammation of the middle part of the eye. It's an eye inflammation, basically, and when you go out in the sun, it can cause all kinds of problems, and it could be, it's actually kind of miserable. Can, does she have tearing and clouding and redness? Oh, did we lose her? Okay. I'm sorry. We, I think we lost, uh, uh, we lost our, our caller here. Uh, so hopefully you're still listening. Uh, you, if you have uh, a, a child who's got an inflammatory condition of the eye in conjunction with rheumatoid arthritis, you are dealing with a major immune system problem. The immune system is a defense system. The defense system, when the defense system is activated, that means you have an offending agent that's getting into the body. The chances are really good that this is a child who's had digestive health challenges her whole life. I wish you, uh, hope, I hope you can call back because I got a few things I could ask you. If she has had digestive uh, problems her whole life, which it's likely she has, that's great news because that's, uh, that uh, represents a wonderful place for you to work or for her parents to work in order to take care of this problem. Now, I'm not going to rip on the drugs, but I'm just going to tell you that it's going to make it a lot harder to take care of her from a nutritional standpoint if she's on these nasty medications. Nonetheless, less it's incredibly important. If she's a milk drinker, focus on dairy and how dairy affects her digestive system if she's bloating or crampy or has any digestive health issues. Also, skin health issues or asthma, those can also be good indicators uh, that can point you to problem foods. Uh, in fact, the uveitis itself and the rheumatoid itself can be indicators. When her inflammation gets worse, her eye inflammation or her rheumatoid inflammation gets worse, see if you can backtrack it to foods. I know, we've, you know we talk about foods all the time here. We talk about the digestive system all the time here because you can't address the health of the body without focusing first on the digestive system. And for a doctor to poison a child with methotrexate without first focusing on what's happening in the gut is just so irresponsible and so rude and so mean-spirited. And I know that they mean well. I'm not attacking individual human beings who really do mean well. The doctors do mean well. But the, the, the logic is just so twisted and corrupted. All right, I hope you're, I don't know if you're still listening. I hope you are. But for anybody out there listening, if you have a child who's on, who has a, an immune problem or an inflammatory problem that's so significant that they have to be put on methotrexate or anumera, then you've got a serious attack on the body that needs to be addressed. And the drugs don't help. The drugs aren't helping. They're just hiding the symptoms. You still have the, you still have the problem. 
that's the, that's the real horror of these medications. You're getting the toxicity and maybe hiding the symptoms, hiding the effects of what you're doing, but you're still destroying the body. And you're still running higher risks of all kinds of unspeakably horrible things to happen uh, that can occur as this poor baby, uh, poor child gets older. All right, didn't mean to get on my high horse here, but it just ticks me off, these horrible, horrible medications. All right, let's, uh, let's go to Dave in Michigan. Good morning, Dave. Welcome to the Bright Side. Hey, my friend Ben, how are you, sir? Oh, is this Dave in the Thumb? It is. Dave in the Thumb. What's up, buddy? Hey, man, uh, I love being on that high horse with you. I love when you're on that horse, man. I'm telling you, get on it. Thank you. Ride I, like the wind, brother. I appreciate it. Thank you. It's a What's sick, going on today? System. Um, well, I heard you talking about not having any results with silver uh, in the past, and I just wanted to give you some of my successes okay. I've had with silver. Let's First hear. Of all, I'd like to start with the eye. Um, like eye drops? Own, yeah, we make eye drops? our own silver now. Yeah, we make ionic and colloidal silver. We have a silver lungs generator. It's silverlungs.com. You should have Mario Cifaldi on as a guest. He's brilliant, okay. and he created the system. We love it. We've used other silvers in the past, but we make our own now. We make a quart at a time. So we can nice. have gallons. It'll last for you know. It, we'll be passing this thing down, generation to generation. It's awesome. So how do you make I, it? Tell me, tell me what you do to make it's it. It's very simple. Distilled water. There, you get these two silver diodes or rods. They're very heavy, thick. We've had the same rods since 2011. And you just run it through the water. Yes. It. They. You clip alligator clips on them. It plugs into a like a little plate. There's a a, a magnetic stirrer in the plate. It stirs a magnet in the bottom of your beaker, your one-quart beaker. You fill it with uh, with distilled water. You measure the, the, you know, the parts per million of your distilled water. First, it comes with all the equipment necessary. It also comes with a nebulizer, sonic nebulizer, so you can inhale ionic silver into your respiratory system. You infuse your respiratory system for up to 72 hours with each treatment. I've, I've eliminated... Uh, flu symptoms. My daughter was pregnant. She got a flu shot. They forced her to get a flu wow. shot while pregnant. She came home. I said, "Oh my God, are you serious?" We we gave I gave her a shot, you know, an ounce of silver. And the yeah. next morning, she woke up with flu-like symptoms. I had her breathe. You know, there's tw you get 23 inhales or so on on one uh, uh, dropper full of ionic silver and. It knocked out the flu. That's, in, hey, you know, hey, Dave, that that's, day. that's very helpful information. I am starting to work with colloidal silver in my skincare products, by the way. And I, I have a guy who's been making it for me. Uh, but that's very good information. Will you text me this guy's phone number when you get a chance? And I'm going to give him a will, call and yes. maybe have him on. Thank you so much, Dave. Hey, we're just out of time, buddy. I appreciate your call. Thanks for the input. And uh, I'm sorry if we left you on hold. I tried to get to everybody. But that doesn't always happen, although I do try. Uh, call back tomorrow if we left you on hold and tell our call screener, and then we'll get you first up. All right, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much, friends, for listening to The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Please check out my websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com for all the info on the longevity products and my truth skin health products at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Have yourselves a wonderful, beautiful, awesome, spectacular day. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.